The CEO of Stability AI has just resigned. This is a really fascinating story. It's kind of breaking right now. Um, and the reason why allegedly is because he said he's not going to be able to beat centralized AI with more centralized AI. Stability AI is a really fascinating company because it's kind of the backbone for a lot of these image generators, um, the technology. They've, they've released open source stuff before um, that people are using um, to, you know, to... Uh, to do like stable diffusion and stuff is kind of based off of that. Um, and so, yeah, they're, they're doing a lot of fascinating things, but it's a company that has had a lot of issues. They've raised money in the past. I believe they, they struggled to raise more money. Um, a bunch of the top people have all quit. It, it's, it's a kind of a company in turmoil, which is mind blowing when you think of um, how innovative this company is. But I guess right off the bat, Jamie, what's your take on, you know, the CEO stepping down because uh, he, essentially doesn't believe that his company is open source enough. He wants to work on more open source AI projects. Yeah, I don't know. It, it brings up, you know, the question of, of where is this all headed, you know, long term, you know, you know, once all this noise comes in of all these different AI models, AI companies, uh, which one's going to stand out or is the AI itself going to be developed enough to a point where, you know, it doesn't need any human intera interaction and it's it's basically self-sustaining and it doesn't need i don't know i just i guess i don't really know where it's going but i know that um this is kind of like the first of uh, these companies basically disappearing because either they're going to get swallowed up by a larger one or uh, they're what they are doing is going to become irrelevant yeah so i think this is fascinating uh, looking at kind of the the blog post of what's going on here okay first off this is a company that has some big backers. They got Lightspeed Venture Partners um, and a bunch of other really big like VC firms that have put money in. And another thing that I think is shocking here is he's stepping down and they don't like immediately have plans for like his replacement CEO. They're just like, OK, well, our chief operating officer and our CTO, those are I guess they're both the, the interim co-CEOs while he's gone. So it feels like it was maybe less planned. He was just like kind of sick of it. And he's like, hey, I'm out. Another interesting thing here is he doesn't necessarily, I think, say specifically like open source. He just says decentralized AI. And I think that's taken a bit of a dig at like Anthropic and OpenAI who have some open source projects, but mostly they're closed source. But it's definitely the, so they, they could like argue like, you know, that point and they're going through all the lawsuits around that. But specifically, I think the issue is centralized. He's like, I don't like that there's a handful of companies that have centralized power on this and, and can control it and it gets regulated and stuff. So I mean, I would be, I don't know. I, I'm, I think like on the one hand, this is like a very noble move, um, perhaps on the other. And so actually, yeah. So from that perspective, I like understand where he's going with this. I think we're getting to a place right now where not just like centralized AI, but really we have Microsoft that's buying like a majority share in all the top AI companies, um, all the top AI startups. And so beyond just like, oh, there's a handful of top AI startups. It's like, yeah, there's a handful of top AI startups and Microsoft owns significant portions of almost all of them. So it definitely feels very centralized. Um, and so I think it'll be interesting to see like what structure of a company he pulls out of this, if it's some sort of open source project that he can get a lot of, um, you know, a lot of uh, backing behind that really just creates something that's less of, a, you know, just one company that's very uh, centralized, controlling exactly what these AI models are doing. What, what are your what are your thoughts on uh, his his chance of success with this? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I I think I do think that the open source platforms will win at the end of the day because those are going to be the ones that um, you know have the information and input coming in from multiple sources. I think the more people trying to like hoard the AI technology information um, and the data are going to be actually behind um, what the open source ones will be. So I see I see the move there. I see. Um, you know, I, I don't think he'll have a, a problem, you know, finding employment elsewhere. And I think it's just, um, you know, he probably just felt like on a moral level that he, he didn't want to be a part of that. So um, I guess back to my initial thoughts, I don't know monetization long term with AI being open source, what the implications are for big corporations. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I think this is interesting. I'll read a quote from what he said exactly when he when he dropped out, and then um, I have some thoughts on it. But he said, um, we should have more transparent and distributed governance in AI as it becomes more and more important. 
It's a hard problem, but I think we can fix it. The concentration of power in AI is bad for us all. I decided to step down to fix this at Stability and elsewhere. I guess he had the most shares at Stability, so I thought if he stepped down, his shares got dispersed or something. I'm, I'm not exactly sure how that works. Um, but this is a company that has had... So they've essentially had a bunch of struggles. Um, they were spending, a, I guess, around $8 million a month as of October last year, um, according to Bloomberg. Um, and they apparently were unsuccessful in attempting to raise uh, new funding at a $4 billion valuation. So, you know, a part of, you know, I think part of that could be like, if you're struggling to raise funding, this is something that's very difficult to do. Um, I think they have over $100 billion that they are, sorry. Um, yeah, they, they've raised a ton of money uh, traditionally in the past and not $100 billion, but they've raised a lot of money in the past. So if it struggles raising money in the future um, is tricky. Um, but I think that, you know, this is happening to a bunch of other companies. So we're seeing um, also the founder of Inflection AI just left uh, last week as well to go join Microsoft. So we're seeing a lot of these really big AI companies and having their, uh, you know, Sam Altman almost got kicked out, but he, he came back. But honestly, it's interesting. Like the CEOs of a lot of these big AI companies are uh, seeing a lot of a lot of like more turnover than any other any other kind of markets. I feel like I've seen uh, it, similarly. So very interesting. Um, I I agree with him that um, that you know the concentration of power in AI is not good. And I think specifically for people listening to the podcast that are like looking at ways to make money from AI and their side hustles and their businesses, um, you don't want a market that is completely controlled or dominated by Microsoft or any other you know single large entity. You want as much competition in the market to you know help create as many incredible and interesting products as possible. I think we kind of see what happens when you have like all the concentration of talent in under one company. You could look at Google and see the way that they would appear to be floundering a little bit with Gemini and, and AI in general compared to like OpenAI, a small startup, um, just because a lot of the bureaucracy that comes with big companies is much more difficult to uh, to create and innovate in than perhaps small startups that might be less risk averse and, and can make a few more mistakes and can go a little bit faster. So, yeah, I think this is interesting. I think overall uh, he's doing the right thing for the industry. Uh, and that's my personal opinion. I'm sure uh, everyone got different opinions on this. But I'm really, uh, really curious to see where this goes in the future. And I think this was a, a good move for him perhaps to to make as long as he's, you know, going and creating something else amazing and, and useful and productive for everyone. For sure. Yep. Well, thank you so much uh, for everyone for tuning in to the AI Hustle podcast today. If you if you learned anything new, if you uh, found this interesting, we would love it if you leave us a review. Um, and we hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day.